the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing folks. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Ghost Dog. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come out your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster, especially. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-two. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Switch, he lands the body. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Beautiful kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just over. Whoa! Excuse me. Serve him up. Go get him. Lee. 
Look at him chopping the wood. He chopped the wood with those leg kicks. So we cross the 30-second mark in the round. Checks that leg kick. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his Wait, offense man. going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, round two. Ooh, big shot, man. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just missed with the left there. Whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Big punch lands through the middle. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Watch the shot. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output. Oh! Big punch lands over the top. I was gonna follow this one. I mean, he's cutting down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Nice kick. He's going after the head. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. What a round. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene.
punches in punches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. that chin. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Great punch. Oh, wow! Head kick! <laughs> Lee going for the head kick. No dice. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be in it. Wow! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, straight right! Punch over the top. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Pretty good jab there by Lee. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. 30 seconds to go now. Rips the body there. 15 seconds to go. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC, and there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five, five-minute rounds. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Right hook to the head block. Circling to his right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. You got to check these low leg kicks. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That beautiful punch from the clinch. Relax, relax. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh! He's out! He got him! Just an absolute.
absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number four. We're playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ghost Dog. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.